Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Morrowind, Elder Scrolls 3. I'm waiting. Hey, <laughs> that's not very polite. When we last left off, we uh, were trying to persuade this lovely lady here to take imported hides. Car hides. Imported hides are not fresh. But if I passed a little bit of gold across your palm, what would you what would you feel about the gua hides in that case? How would you What about No? Alright. Well, if I persuaded you a little bit more that much perhaps. What would you say to imported gua hides then? House Redren has provided my gua hides for you for years. Hmm. That may be so. Ho oh ho! Well done, us. We got our disposition up by about nine or ten points with a, a ten gold bribe. What about it now? No, she's still not willing to budge on that. But if we can get her up to about. Let's see if we can get her up. Uh, 80. Right, gua hides now. Okay, okay, I'll buy gua hides from House Harlu. Now leave me alone. How do I know she's just saying that, though? How do I know that you'll keep your... Your your end of the, your, the bargain? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. But I think that will do for now. I think. Oops, that's embarrassing. <laughs> you know... It, with people in Morrowind and yes, and, and whatnot, you must get an awful lot of that kind of. I, I mean, I I what I'm trying to say is, obviously, the game is very static because it would take an amazing amount of programming to um, de develop an entirely m dynamic game and, and a dynamic world a but what I'm what I w what I'm trying to say is I that if if the move. game if the world was real then people would be doing mark and recall all over the place and I know I would yes because if you go to the shops and you got a full afternoon buying the food in for a week or if you I don't know go to work or maybe school you don't want to uh, the journey is always a bit uh, oh you could like mark at work or school or the shops or whatever and then just beam yourself straight there out of bed maybe you after you me with your attention outlander maybe you after you've um, had a wash perhaps I don't know wow <laughs> 100 out of 100 quads a thousand gold? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I heard you convinced R Rolaza or into buying gua hides from us. Good work, Hexam. Take these one thousand rakes. A small share of House Harlu's future profits. Wonderful. Thank you. Real business people. Yes, you clearly deserve the rank of lawman. Congratulations, Hexam. Can we do it again? I cannot advance you further. You must find a sponsor among the Harlu councillors. Since you are a foreigner, you should speak with Crassius Curio. Crassius Curio being the guy that we spoke to a few, few uh, videos back. The one that said that his voice sounded like music when we said it. I doubt any of the other councillors would sponsor you. <laughs> They're racists. I need someone to deliver new orders to Bivil Teneran. Bivel Teneran is a wealthy clothing merchant in Alderoon. She keeps an eye out for us in Alderoon. Her shop is in Underscar, the crab shell in Alderoon. Take this scroll to her. That's it? That's all you want us to do? What's the catch? Right, very well. We can do that. Yes, Outlander. Let's have what a little read of it, if we can we? Oh, it's, un it's encoded. I wish we could read these encoded messages. 
You probably could. Uh, there's probably somewhere on the internet someone explaining how to read them things. I'm looking for a bed, by the way, if you didn't realise. But it's not very obvious that I'm in search of a bed. <laughs> Why do I want a bed? Because I want to. What do you think of Palmora, Outlander? Palmora? Pretty cool. Actually, I think it's my favourite. It's my favourite town in in the whole of Morrowind. I like Vivek, but Balmora. Yes. I yeah, like something it. about it. What do you want? There is another one that I like as well. Guamok. For some reason, I, I think is that what it's called. I don't know. Oh, that was a fail. And another fail. <laughs> Embarrassing. And a waste of a potion. Also, not good. Onwards. Looks like we'll just have to do it the old fashioned way and get a teleportation. That was it. I've heard a lot about you, Outlander. Go ahead. Yes, so anyway, the other thing. Well, let's wonder how high our reputation is now. It surely must be quite high. Well, maybe not too high. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's only level 2. Anyway, the the thing I was talking yes, about Dunmer? before, um, okay. referring to the people casting spells and things, the other thing that I think would be interesting was be how much people would, you know, how how many miscasts and things that you might witness in your day in Morrowind. Oh, I'm just walking around, la 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 la, and then someone uh, wants to get back home, and then they cast a recall spell or a. I don't know whatever other spell they want to do, but let's just say for, for argument's sake and for the sake of this discussion that it is in fact a, a recall and then they just fail. That would look <laughs> quite embarrassing really, just in the middle. Or would you sort of go somewhere private to cast a spell just in case you, you, you uh, failed it? Look at that sky. Oh, we got lost. Do you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure you do. Back here again. They're gonna get mightily suspicious of our activities in here. If they had hear it. Hadn't already. Hear it. I'm quite a frequent visitor. Aha, this is the place. I hope she doesn't I hope the orders aren't anything bad. What's it doing? Been doing that the last few times. Make it quick, Outlander. Whoa! Hey, hey, hey! Chill out. Well, are you going to give me the scroll or not? Wow, she's grumpy. Give her the scroll. Yes, as I expected. Tell Nell Nell Endorfine that I received the scroll and understood the message. Why not take this outfit, a present for my efficient courier? Oh, wow! An exquisite shirt and extravagant pants. Thank you. Can I just try have a little look at the ex So what's, what kind of shirt do we have on? Like an extravagant shirt. An exquisite shirt is worth more. Should we just check out our nice shirt? Oh, look at them ruffles. Uh, and extravagant pants. Do we have any pants on? Oh no, we've got common pants. We don't want to wear common pants. Pfft. Although we can't see them underneath our wonderfully exquisite skirt. Just take our skirt off, and it's just got armor. Never mind. Hold okay, on us. Oh, actually, do you like us? No, not too much. Can we barter? I want to sell this, this. I don't really need this, and I don't really need the shoes either, because I wear boots. How what? Right, that's 160 right there, and these obviously is nothing, but that's another 60. So 160 plus 60 is 220. So that's your... No way. 100 at least. You're not... You're not ripping me off. I don't know how much stuff's worth. The value comes up automatically. Come on, just accept it. Let's look, don't embarrass yourself. This is this is very, very embarrassing. For you more than for me. Okay, I know how things much of things are worth, so don't don't 
try and get funny with us. I'll cut you some slack and off you 90. Ah, uh, fine. I'll tell you what. Seventy-five, okay. But if you don't accept this, then th there's absolutely no deal whatsoever, and we're just going to walk, okay? No, right, that's it, no deal. See you later. You're not ripping us off. You're not getting excellent clothes for absolutely nothing. Some of that stuff hasn't even been worn. It's brand new. Huh, <laughs> some people, guy. Right. Uh, let's quickly save here. No, we don't want a new game. Fifty-seven. Right. And when we come back, we're going to go back to Balmora. We're going to sign up for doing... Uh, oh, we're going to tell them that we did the quest and everything was fine and the mission was understood. That's was quite a relatively easy and very straightforward mission. That I'm not sure why that was... Oh, I don't know. Anyway. Okay, guys. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And goodbye.